Autodesk has named the students of a Stanford University Design Innovation Graduate course as the Autodesk Inventor of the Month for October 2010. The team is being honored for the development of a prototype of a highly recyclable laptop called the Bloom Laptop. What you're about to hear is a phone interview with Aaron Engelhall, one of the students who worked on the Bloom Laptop project. Aaron, before we jump into the questions, tell us what is the Bloom Recyclable Laptop? The Bloom Recyclable Laptop was the end product, the device that we developed for our ME310 design class at Stanford. The Bloom Recyclable Laptop was a laptop that a user can disassemble by themselves without any tools in under 30 seconds. And, those, and the disassembled components of the laptop can be easily recycled by the user from the comfort of their own home. Now, how this is achieved is rather complicated, but it can be boiled down into developing a laptop that had a single material case that held all the hardware components inside and was easily taken apart, and the case, which is made out of recyclable material, separated from the hardware, the LCD, the printed circuit board, the keyboard, all the things that you would typically call electronic. So these electronic pieces, we term the bad apples, because these electronic pieces make it very difficult to recycle your laptop. In truth, almost everything in your laptop is a recyclable material. The issue is that they're all mixed together, and separating all these materials into only their like materials is very difficult, and that really is the challenge of recycling. So by making a laptop that the user can disassemble into like materials by themselves without any tools, we've really tackled the biggest problem associated with recycling. Now, the added benefit to our Bloom laptop is not only that it can, recy it can be recycled by the user from the comfort of their own home, but that because we made the laptop very recyclable, a byproduct of that recyclability is the fact that it had to be modular. And because it is modular, we were able to make the keyboard and mouse wireless and come apart from the, from the device itself. So a user could pick up the keyboard and mouse off the laptop and type from anywhere on their room and surf the web. So not only was it recyclable, but its recyclability actually improved its overall user performance. Aaron, tell us how the Bloom Recyclable Laptop Project came about. It was a pretty roundabout process, to be perfectly honest. Um, it began in our ME310 class at Stanford, where Autodesk posed to us the problem of developing a fully recyclable consumer electronics device. So we had nine months to develop, iterate, and prototype this design, and whatever it may be. So we ran the gamut. We did need finding, benchmarking of what was out there, and really pursued about, no exaggeration, probably a hundred different ideas, legitimate ones for devices ranging from kids' toys that would grow up with child to toys that disassembled themselves towards the end of life to even machines that would be placed in Safeway that would eat your old electronics and spit out souvenirs to remind you of them, recycling all the components in the process. But we ended up really deciding on a laptop for a few key reasons, mainly because we thought that, honestly, it was the toughest of all the <laughs> possible devices we could pursue. And the reason is that it's most difficult because it incorporates, I guess what you'd call some of the pain points of many of many, if not all, of electronic devices. It has an LCD in it, which is difficult to recycle. It has a keyboard, the user input, has a battery, it has plastic and metals and uh, microprocessors, and the whole gamut of a lot of the assorted parts and hardware that you see in many different electronic devices all in one device. So we figured that if we could somehow develop a method for making a laptop more recyclable, it would be very easy to take the lessons that we learned through that process and develop a wider set of guidelines towards making all types of electronics more easily recyclable. How did Autodesk Inventor and Publisher software assist your team? Well, the Autodesk Inventor and Publisher software was very useful to us in two very different ways for each. The Inventor software was critical in that we needed to model our case to fit the hardware, which we had salvaged from different various laptops like MacBook, um, in order to fit this hardware very well and function as a disassemblable case. In order to do this, we prototyped it in both form, foam core and other materials, but ultimately we needed to have a 3D model which we sent to be 3D printed, which Inventor allowed us to not only build and create, but to make the minute changes that were required to iterate this many, many times to make sure that the device itself worked as flawlessly as we were capable of making it work. 
publisher worked in a totally different way, but was very helpful in our what we called XP, which was essentially an expo for our device. In the background of our booth, where we demonstrated the working prototype of our device, we had a publisher-generated video simulation of the device disassembling itself, which really allowed people visiting the booth to see the whole process, um, even if there were too many, too big of a crowd to allow them to do it themselves. For more about the Stanford University graduate course for which the Bloom laptop was developed, use the link displayed. And for everything about the Autodesk Inventor of the Month program, visit www.autodesk.com forward slash Inventor of the Month.